our planet, getting its best look yet at the most exciting outer space object we have seen in years. 3i Atlas, a mysterious interstellar visitor billions of years old, finally making its closest approach to Earth and giving scientists an opportunity to study it before it gets further and further away. It's a golden moment because we have as good a view as we're ever going to get. Showing the object in stunning new detail, like this one from a civilian astrophotographer who says he captured 3i Atlas shooting across the night sky. There's a caveat. Just because it's the closest it'll ever be doesn't mean it's actually that close. It's 170 million miles away, further than the distance between the Earth and the Sun, says NASA astrophysicist Dr. Tom Statler. If you could get into an Indy car and drive at top speed, 24-7, no breaks, no pit stops, nothing for your entire life, you might just barely make 170 million miles on the odometer. 3i Atlas was first discovered in July by NASA's massive Atlas telescope, designed to spot potential threats to planetary safety. Most in the scientific community identify it as an ancient comet from another solar system, but others have theorized it could be alien technology. Harvard theoretical physicist Dr. Avi Loeb leading the charge to examine 3i Atlas's possible alien origins. We have an obligation as scientists is to figure out the nature of the object. He's outlined a list of anomalies that could point to an intelligent origin, a trajectory that seems designed to tour planets in the solar system, a dust cloud containing much more nickel than iron, unlike most comets, its rotation axis seemingly aligned perfectly with the sun, peculiar gas jets pointed directly at the sun instead of away from it, and a path that kind of lines up with the origin of the mysterious, still unexplained WOW radio signal burst detected back in 1977. My guess is that it's most likely a natural object, but the existence of those anomalies uh, trigger my interest in trying to figure out whether they might represent something else. Despite the intrigue, most scientists brush off the idea of alien origins. All of the signatures from day one have been completely consistent with it being a natural body. It's very much like the comets we know and love in our solar system. It's a comet. Regardless, the eyes of Earth trained on the object, hoping to peer back through billions of years in time and space before it's too far away. All of the asteroids and comets in our own solar system are carrying a little bit of the history of how our Earth and how the other planets uh, changed over time. And this one is carrying some of that same information from another solar system somewhere else and it's been in an in interstellar deep freeze for some number of billions of years. It's, it's an amazing time capsule. Whether it's an ancient comet or an alien spacecraft or Santa come early, one thing is certain, this interstellar flyby has sparked wonder about the universe before sailing off into the eternity of space. Yeah, Gotti, I know you. You've got an X-Files poster <laughs> in your bedroom, I'm sure. But you know what? I've talked to NASA people, as you have, and, the, and they tell me, listen, there are trillions upon trillions of stars out there. Each star has hundreds or millions of planets. So just mathematically, there's a very high chance that there's life out there somewhere. The question is, are we going to get a glimpse of it? Are we going to get another sighting, another comet? What do you think? I hope so, and, and I do. I, I have a poster. I want to believe, uh, but you keep dashing my hopes with the questions you keep asking, those pesky questions. I saw you asking Jared Isaacman yesterday about aliens. What did he tell you? That, that, he did not did he dismiss it, dude. He did uh, not dismiss yeah, it. No. Nope. I know. I know. You and, and your quest for, for the answer to the most existential question of our time, uh, as for 3i Atlas, yeah. Uh, the, this most likely is a comet, uh, a very, very weird one, though, especially this whole anti-tail thing, this off-gassing jet phenomena that we're seeing, yeah. all of the images, the, the data collected. This is going to be an absolute treasure trove for astronomers for years to come. Uh, and even though, yes, 3i Atlas is, is sayonara now, the biggest takeaway seems to be that uh, we are now getting to the point in humanity that we're getting way better at spotting these interstellar visitors. This is the third one so far that we know about. They do seem rare right now. That could all change soon. But uh, this has brought so much excitement, mm. so much hype. There are going to be so many more eyes, professional and amateur, trained on the heavens. And, Tom, do you want to know why? Please. Because, as they say in science, the truth is out there. Oh, Somewhere. to infinity and beyond, as You'll I said see. to the administrator. You'll see. Yeah, <laughs> we're full of cliches. I believe, I just don't think they visited us yet. Gotti Schwartz, thanks, buddy.
We thank you for watching. And remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.